what's up guys and welcome back to the vlog there's not gonna be a lot of talking in this one um, mostly just montage style taking you through my routine this week as i started college this week was quite a stressful one plenty of breakdowns lots of health issues uh so <laughs> brace yourself let's get to it Every morning I pack my lunch and try to make a breakfast of some sort and don't worry about like how healthy it is. It, what's important to me is just eating before I get out the door. Then of course we have to tend to my garden. I usually put coffee grounds in my garden every morning. Um, the cantaloupe have been thriving off of it and the pineapple has been too. Look at Carl. Now, obviously, I'm doing my makeup. I woke up this morning in so much pain for whatever reason. Um, and this is when I had started to feel like I was going to have a flare up at the end of the week or sometime in the middle of the week. Usually when I start to feel like that, what motivates me the most is doing my makeup. Um, I try not to put on too much because I do break out, especially in the summer, but even a little bit can go a long way for me. I didn't get to film much at work, but here is me sitting outside with the kids at recess. I look so irritated. It has nothing to do with the kids and everything to do with the 110 degree weather. As soon as I get home, I take off my bacteria infested clothes, jump in the shower and listen to my worship music so I can get comfortable and get ready to study. When it comes to my course schedule, the beginning of the week is a lot heavier of a course load. I am usually focused on discussion posts and notes. Toward the end of the week, I can relax a lot more because it's just about responding to discussion posts and going back over my notes and just any fallout that I didn't get to at the beginning of the week. This day specifically, I believe I was working on anthropology and probably one other class. Right. <laughs> yeah. 
women's night was a huge success. I had so much fun. Now it's time to get back to these books. For those that don't know and are curious, I am currently an online student uh, at Colorado State University. I am studying for my bachelor's of science in economics. My full course load is 15 credits this semester, including introductory to cultural anthropology, legal and ethical issues in business, college composition, college algebra and context, which is pre-cal, logic and critical thinking, and international relations. Because it had been such a long day, I was starting to feel overstimulated and spastic, and I did have a small seizure. Um, I had another one later that night, which was convulsive. This one wasn't that bad, but it definitely threw me off for the night. Let's talk about Wednesday. This day was beyond difficult from the moment I woke up. I woke up sore, my joints were aching so bad. I just knew like I wanted to call out of work. I needed to call out of work, but I couldn't, it was last minute. I could feel myself wanting to and needing to cry every single second of this morning and just you wait because it's coming not only was i in so much pain when i woke up i felt like i was on the verge of a seizure i had learned that my food stamps and my medicaid both fell through i was frustrated i was tired i was irritated my endometriosis was acting up i was hormonal it was just too much going on I got ready with a little extra spare time and tried to use that time to work on classwork, but I just felt myself breaking down. I don't remember exactly what was going through my head at this moment, but I just know, looking back at myself, I wish I could just give her a big old hug, tell her it'll be fine. And eventually, I mean, I was fine later that day, but it was just a rough morning. One thing I do know though, is that I was simultaneously praying. As usual, I pulled myself together and just got back to the rest of my day. 
all I had to do for the rest of the day was go to work because it's Wednesday. And on Wednesdays and Fridays, I just come home, take a nap. I don't do any work. If I want to do work, I have to do it at work during my break. So once I woke up from my nap, of course, I had to have some midnight McDonald's. <laughs> woke up the next morning and did it all over again. My body was still really feeling it and I knew it wasn't a Wednesday or a Friday, but I let myself take a nap when I got home, woke up, ate, and just got right back to it. To my complete and utter surprise, I think international relations has been my favorite class this far. Logic and critical thinking seems like it's going to be also very interesting and fun. Um, cultural anth anthropology is okay. College comp is... I mean, it's English, but we'll see how I start to feel about that. Um, and then business, that'll probably be fun. Math is the one that I'm kind of biting my cheeks on. And It's Friday, so I thought I would give you guys just a little recap of the week. I'm laughing because I'm trying to get comfortable and it's not working. I'm gonna try to make this quick because I don't like this lighting and my head hurts so bad, but I wanted to film really more than I did um, like throughout the day. Um, my seizures have already been coming back, so it's just been a lot trying to really pace myself. Um, it's not that work is hard, it's not that school is hard. I think what's difficult is that no matter how much I want to do this stuff and I enjoy this routine, my body is, is fighting back. You know, the fatigue, the pain, I'm waking up and my joints are screaming. Uh, like I said, I've been having seizures again, so at night, like, I'm not really sleeping. And so, like, these naps, even, like, 20, 30-minute naps at work are super important. Um, and I just noticed, like, I mean, the spiritual warfare never stops, but lately, um, the enemy has really been pushing on my patients. Um, 
and I've never like since Sunday like Sunday was a terrible day um and I broke down twice and I don't really like break down anymore I might cry a little bit but I've been breaking down it's been to the point where like I've woken up with this like fiery rage and anger and irritation like every little thing has irritated me lately so like I've even found myself or like had to catch myself from like snapping at the kids um and so it's just like it's been more of the mental battle and the physical battle so like what's going on with my mind and my emotions um and what's going on in my body and what's going on in my body does affect my mind and my emotions because I'm frustrated you know that I can't that I feel like I can't work a normal job that I want to pick up more hours but I feel like you know even six hours a day five days a week is just so much for me um you know that I do enjoy biking to work but it's not feasible you know for my health every single day so i do have to go back to spending money on uber and um so like i said it's not the tasks it's the fact that my body i feel like my body is against you know these things that i want to do in this lifestyle that i am really like working toward food stamps fell through again medicaid fell through again um so it's like i'm sitting here like you know really like trying to fight for my life and my health and fight for you know um just the ability to function every single day um but that's hard when you're not getting health care it's a weird dilemma because in order to get approved for medicaid i need a document signed by my doctor in order to see my doctor i need medicaid i need insurance so it's this this crazy sickening cycle that i'm in um and i just feel defeated um and with wanting to take more holistic approaches to some areas as far as my eating habits my food specifically for my mast cell activation syndrome like i know it would make a huge difference but i can't you know afford those groceries without food stamps right now so again it's just this crazy cycle and i just feel like man i don't know but i'm so tired um so yeah it's been a lot but i love work i love my job i love college so far like it's really fun i feel really smart i feel like i am learning things you know week one i feel like i'm learning things it it's accessible for me and to me um you know it does work in my schedule again just my body you know being so tired um you know being so irritated lately these migraines stuff like that just feel like they're against me and i don't want them to be because like i'm just so excited you know I just need to chill. Like, I really just need this weekend to myself. So yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys for coming along. I know it's been a bit weird. Peace out.